I'm on the Stradun. This is the major street in the city. It used to be a canal, and then that canal was filled in and it became this magnificent thoroughfare. You've never had an experience like walking down this wide street. In the city of Rome, the Via Lata, the Via Flaminia, and it kind of, I think, from antiquity would give you a sense of that main thoroughfare. But this, the proportion of the street to the size of the city is really beyond compare. And you have the city then with the domestic spaces, the homes of the Ragusans going up one slope on the land side and then sloping up towards the seaside. But this was that place of meeting. This was the processional route for the Church of St. Blaise. So there's so much history we're going to explore here. We've got the Church of St. Blaise. We've got the Magna Conception Cathedral. We have the Church of Ignatius, so the Jesuits were here in this Catholic city. And then you've got the port and you can walk along the walls. But of course, it's really, really hot. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities in our adventure to keep cool. The beaches of Locrum, kayaking, zip lining, and taking a private boat ride. And all of this, where did I call home for this trip? The Imperial Palace Hotel of Hilton, the historic, historic hotel of Dubrovnik. Another incredible experience. And all together, this is going to be trip of a lifetime in Dubrovnik, ancient Ragusa. But first, let's review a bit of this city's rich history. So the city of Ragusa is founded by refugees from Epidaurum. So we're coming out of the Roman age and we're coming into the Byzantine period. And what you have then is this outcropping, this rock that becomes the place of settlement in the Middle Ages. And it thrives, particularly in the 13th century. And that's when the wall circuit is gonna be built. This wall circuit that's 1.2 miles that you can walk today. And you're gonna meet my dear friend, Ivan, who is a true expert and a passionate local. And he's gonna show us some of the best things about this city. So my name is Ivan Vukovic. I'm a local guide in the city of Dubrovnik. If you want to know more about the city, visit my website down below. I've come to Dubrovnik many, many times, and every time I hang out with Ivan, he makes your experience of Dubrovnik absolutely incredible and he takes you to all the extraordinary places that you've never heard of, places off the beaten path. So whether it's zip lining or private beaches or the nooks and crannies of Dubrovnik, it's that kind of experience that you want to have with Ivan to really have Dubrovnik unfold for you and you have an authentic experience. All right, guys, Dubrovnik, water, Here's the mega ride for today. Let's do it. We're on the lone boat. It's Ivan's friend Seti that's taken us around. So for now, it's goodbye to the walls of Dubrovnik and we're off to explore and we're gonna find a beach to call our own. The whole family's excited. We've already found it. Look at this gorgeous water. A day for swimming, a day for exploring. It doesn't get much better than this. It's incredible to swim in this gorgeous water, but now it's time to go. It's time to explore some more. So we head over to Lopet Island, this glorious little jewel, hidden, quiet, historic, and it's a place to get a bite to eat and hang out with the locals, <laughs> making lots of new friends. We continue to explore the island. There's plenty of opportunities to swim, but in the fading light, idea now is we've got to chase that light and find the ideal place for a wonderful sunset. Steady knows where to go and I think he's found it unbelievable. One of the greatest things you can do in Croatia, in Dubrovnik, is just drink in these gorgeous sunsets. And that's how you end your day after a day on the sea in Dubrovnik. It's a new day. It's time to explore those walls from below, but also from on top. One of the best ways to enjoy this World Heritage Site is to walk the walls. You can do it at dawn. You can do it at dusk. It's a, it's a fantastic way to take in the entire city center. It's a way to appreciate 
the defensive position that ancient Ragusa had, that Dubrovnik has today, and uh, you, you have an incredible connection with the sea all around you. My family's just in front of me, and we're all spellbound. The views of the sea, the views of the city. Imagine yourself as a defender. People are attacking from the sea. People are attacking by land. These walls held. And you can really immerse yourself in the rich history of Ragusa. There's a St. Lawrence fort way in the distance. It also was serving an important purpose to defend the people of Ragusa. It's quite a walk. Today I'm here at opening at eight in the morning. I've been here at dusk as well. A lot of steps. Sometimes it's quite smooth. Sometimes I've got some downhill. But this is the authentic path. This is what they did when they protected the city from attack. They're just uh, following along the same route. Now my, my girls are up there in the top tower here. It's a place to explore. There are plenty of opportunities to stop and have a drink. You can watch the local community here. You have probably one of the most fantastic basketball courts with the Vista, uh, a UNESCO Vista like this. I don't think there's any other place like that in the world. It is something uh, to behold and something to experience. The walk along the walls invites you to discover, invites you to get various views of the skyline, like at the cathedral and the dome in the distance, views of the port, the bell towers, and it is a pleasant way to experience this history of the city from above. Starting to heat up, I think we need a little break. Let me show you where we're staying in Dubrovnik. Had an incredible stay here at the Grand Hotel Imperial by Hilton. It's an historic hotel and it has an incredible view of the history of Dubrovnik right across the St. Lawrence Fort. You can just peer over here and see the walls of Dubrovnik. It's an ideal location. It's been an incredible stay. And from here, truly, it's the sunrise, it's the sunsets, and it's just the pleasant experience it's made being in Dubrovnik a hot time of year, so enjoyable. There's so much history here and so much water. Let me show you another great experience along the water of Dubrovnik. Let's take a local boat and go to this gorgeous island, a natural park, Lokrum. Lokrum, the best place to escape hustle and bustle from the old town of Dubrovnik. You can unplug, enjoy the botanical garden, climb to the fort, doing some cliff diving and spend all day here. It's paradise on earth. When you come to Dubrovnik, if you're lucky, you can get a hold of Ivan and you will have an extraordinary experience. Truly, Dubrovnik is a place I think I could live. And there's so much rich history and the connection with the sea, it's so palpable through all the centuries, going back to ancient times. And coming to places like Lokrum, is a jewel and of course you get a little bit of game of thrones fix you get your monastery you get your napoleonic vibe and most of all you get this incredible setting the beauty the nature it is so unspoiled now listen let's say you want to get a workout well get a guide from a private beach in dubrovnik and go kayaking it's fun for the whole family you can go as hard or as easy as you want. It's perfectly safe, and it was a blast. You can go around all of Lokrum if you want. You can just cross over and hit a couple of grottos. There's definitely something for everyone to explore. There's plenty of time to just soak in this beautiful, beautiful weather. And of course, afterwards, it's time to explore the city. We're at Pila Gate. We're entering into Dubrovnik. Maybe you recognize this from Game of Thrones. And there's the Onofrio Neapolitan Fountain on the Stradun. It's so easy to get yourself lost in Dubrovnik. It's so easy to find a quiet street. It's a very, very popular destination for tourists from all over the world. And yet you have so many opportunities to have those intimate moments to really just contemplate the history. Of course, looming large, even above us right here, is the walls going back to the 13th century and then continually maintained thereafter for centuries. It is one of the defining features of ancient Ragusa. Much of the city was rebuilt after the devastating earthquake in 1667. Here's the Jesuit church 
of St. Ignatius, which is magnificently preserved, along with its adjacent historic staircase that you might know from Game of Thrones. My daughter loved this part of the city, the ups, the downs, and of course the historic markets filled with experiences. And of course, these are places where you can get a great bite to eat. It's so dynamic and so inviting. And there are also lots of private beaches within Dubrovnik. You just got to know where to look. It's quite warm these days. One way to cool off is with good local creation beer. And of course, Yvonne pointed us out to the new cuisine, the dynamic chefs, the great local wines and mixed drinks of Dubrovnik. Follow his lead. You'll have a wonderful evening or lunch. On our last day, we listened to Yvonne and took the gondola ride up above Croatia for beautiful views and zip lining. Fun and safe. Everybody had a blast and we love that unique view. Dubrovnik. Zipped it. Zipped it. We zipped Dubrovnik. Can't beat this place. It's pristine, clear waters. The city. I mean, I, I appreciate just how well run it is, how clean it was. The, just the, the friendliness, the, the accommodations, the, the, the history, the layers, and this spectacular view. What a magnificent city. I'm going to keep on coming back to Dubrovnik. I've never been here with the heat of the summer. Spectacular. The islands, the swimming, the kayaking. It was all unbelievable. And we will be back. We'll be back for this history. Thanks for subscribing. There's so much more travel, history, archaeology, exploration. See you next time.